Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo, back again with your next love reading for today through the month of August. This is a channel for Virgos only, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So welcome you guys. Thank you for coming back and for all the support. And if you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. If you enjoy these readings, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, also, if you want to get a personal reading from me, you guys, you can click on the link in the description box below. That will take you to my booking site. Please be aware, um, for some reason, there seems to be international calling. Some countries seem to be, uh, I can't connect with you through there. So um, the latest is Australia and Switzerland. So if you are from either of those countries, um, please make sure that you are able to uh, do international calling with the number that is provided there at my booking site. And, um, or you can send me an email and I can find out ahead of time. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure out a way to use maybe a messaging app that has phone capability. Um, for those of you who are unable to connect with me through the phone, okay? Free of charge, of course. All right, so with that being said, let's get started on your reading here, Virgo. And I appreciate you guys commenting about the length of the readings. Um, seems like most of you are enjoying the Celtic Cross reading and the length and time, so I'll keep it up. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look at the past, the present challenge which driving the reading oh and i am using the heaven and earth tarot deck kit crowning we have the near future your advice the other person and their energy hopes and fears and the outcome hmm. very very interesting okay so Please be patient with me. I am just, this is a new deck, so I'm trying to figure it, you know, get used to it, try to figure it out. But I will tell you, I'm seeing Aquarius, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Virgo, um, let's see, Pisces. Yeah, okay. So if that resonates for you, great. If not, don't worry about it. Um, let's get some love messages here and see what the love messages are for you guys. Starting off for Virgo, what are Virgo's love messages going forward from today into the month of the rest of August? Okay, reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life, Virgo. Now, if, if you don't want someone from your past returning to your life, feel free to click off the video. I mean, I don't I don't dictate how the cards come out, however they come out. That's what the, is, the message is for you and not every reading will be for you, okay? So you can always come back tomorrow <laughs> and check the next set of messages. So healing family issues, your love life benefits, and you forgive your parents. This person you're connecting with or this past person um, has some issues with parents. Maybe and we also have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take so i feel like this person you're connecting with um they're going through this process here of healing some family stuff some family issues and this is connected to their parents whether their parents are alive or have have passed away um their parental upbringing had an effect on their romantic relationships um, how they behaved, either they took after a mother, took after a father, there was something, or caregivers doesn't necessarily have to be parents if they were raised by grandparents or siblings or something, um, or the lack thereof having parents or a particular parent. There's some healing that's going on here. Um, so if there's reconciliation, that tells me that this romantic relationship is in separation or ended at some point okay but it feels like this person um is going to try to come back and reconcile things with you and truly make an effort um in this connection they feel you are their great love and they do feel that your the love between you is worth taking whatever steps are necessary to take in order to facilitate healing in this relationship. But right now, they may be taking a look at 
how they approach romantic relationships and whether that was coming from their internal core self and what they wanted or if it was the influence of parents. Now the past position here is the Princess of Cups. So this tells me at one point there was communication between you and your person where there was um, loving communication between the two of you. Now pages can represent a page like written or texts or um, something along those lines. I feel like at one point with your person, it began in a very sweet, um, innocent type of way you guys started. Um, the page always kind of feels to me like someone had an emotional crush or there was just this sweetness to the connection that was really very beautiful okay um in the past but it feels kind of like an emotional or immaturity emotional immaturity uh, that developed um it may have started that way and then continued on that way and that was kind of how you guys were connecting in a very like sweet way but it was like maybe no commitment or nothing or it didn't develop into that or it did develop into that but not, not to say that the page of cups is a bad energy that's a card of new love um but the wheel of fortune is here and i want you to know that it did fall in reverse um i will tell you that i felt like there was this attempt for a turning point but the intentions were good but the wheel of fortune in reverse gives off a sense of being stuck in a rut. And I feel like you and your person got stuck in a rut, got stuck in something that where there was just the wheels just weren't moving or um, it wasn't processing forward, okay? In the present energy, the world is here, challenged by the Eight of Cups. So it's like, when the major arcana is showing up in the present, this energy feels like something has completed. The challenge is to move on, okay? Now, maybe some of you have moved on, but for others, there may be an emotional attachment that's still there. So there may have been like somebody physically moved on or relocated there might have this can be a card of emigration travel could just represent ascension as well but completing a lesson completing a goal but the the obstacle now is emotionally moving on from this connection okay somebody here you know when we have the eight of cups it is a it is a, a card of retreat and withdrawal it can be a card of abandonment and it may be a challenge to accept that um, somebody withdrew or there's an energy of something is ended. Somebody might be feeling like, okay, maybe this is just temporary. And the reason I say that is because the Eight of Cups is a card of temporary separation. Okay. I kind of get a sense here that two people really did not want separation and whomever your person is, you know, I mean, we'll take a look mostly at their energy over here and I'll go into detail, but I do feel what's driving this reading right now is the Four of Swords. So this is a card of healing. And I was saying that with somebody, and now for some of you, it could be, you know, maybe you guys are in separation because there's a healing that needs to take place. And that Four of Swords is retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, and recovery. Okay, this is a card of kind of pulling away. No one here is feeling restless or anxious or burned out or even ready to act at this time, okay? So I feel like it's almost like the universe is saying, okay, you guys need to go your separate ways for a while. Um, but your heart of hearts, their heart of hearts, it's like really hard to do that. It's it, because there's an emotional, there's an emotional attachment or someone's feeling very emotional about this connection. Now I'm going to, I'm going to pull a clarifying card for the world here. For some of you, this could be like, um, 
if you're in a long distance relationship this could be detaching emotionally detaching emotionally from say like the virtual aspect of the relationship um if you're like the world could be the world wide web if you're communicating online that energy could be playing out as well okay yeah it's like spirit is saying it's time for action and it's time for things to change <sighs> it's there's a journey up ahead so i feel what i'm seeing here is if you ended something with someone virgo your person may understand that okay this is the way something has to be at this time um but it may be very difficult for them to let go um, from an emotional standpoint and i feel like it's kind of the same for you um what's crowning down though is the ten of cups so this makes me feel like the thought process for you and your person is to have happiness um, and to have love and support from each other this can be a card of marriage being emotionally connected joyous and happy and free but i also feel like with the four of swords What's driving this reading is there's there's a need for healing in order to have this Ten of Cups energy here. Okay. So I feel like what's coming forward here is the High Priestess. This is really pulling the energy back, going within, and kind of... I don't know if there's there's a mystery. There's a puzzle that needs to be solved here in regards to this connection here because something caused a delay or a stalemate or for something to not move forward i'm not exactly sure but i do feel it's because there was some healing that needed to be done and whether in both of you or in or together or separately and these issues here i do believe had a heavy influence in why the relationship couldn't move forward now the high priestess okay i think did i say pisces i'm also picking up cancer energy here either way it's watery and it's emotional okay um now somebody may be seeking tarot to get their healing in going forward um or gaining to gain some insight asking the the hard questions trying to get into their vibe, trust their intuition, and really try to understand how they're feeling, what they need to do, um, or what's happening within, okay? There's secrets here that I feel like somebody is trying to get at the heart of the, the depth of what's like the, um, the layer that's underneath, okay? There may be some secret family things that were never exposed or this you or this person has pushed down in the past okay and really going within look at how she has her eyes closed male or female it doesn't matter um really going within looking at the back of the eyelids and trying to look at those visions or those the memories is how i feel as well Uh, I feel like going back into childhood, trying to understand. There's definitely an energy of silence and not communicating with each other um, now towards the end of August. But let's get a clarification card and see. Okay, there's Page of Cups again. Really thinking about this relationship and how things started. I feel also... Oh, yeah, they just said, um, looking at the aspects of the immaturity of the relationship and why it didn't progress forward. And I feel it had a lot to do with um, it stayed very childlike, okay? Um, or your person or both of you are looking back at, you know, who you were as a child, the innocence, the sweetness, I feel like the way that you you and your person separately loved others comes from 
like the the core innocence of that is is attached to the child. Somebody may have been suppressed as a child their emotions. Uh, somebody may have just wanted so much to give and to offer and to love. But yeah, look, the ten of swords. There was some kind of betrayal, and I feel like somebody's looking back in their fam family of origin or things like that. This has had a profound effect. Um, on someone's ability to be in relationships loving healthy relationships there was deep betrayal and i feel like your person or you somebody is surrendering and kind of like definitely um hitting a very painful rock bottom position right now okay really going in and, and this is a scary thing you know because I'm also looking here, I feel very much, uh, look at the cross around her neck. For some of you, this could, or somebody, um, this has something to do with a mother. Um, maybe there was a mother that passed away, or um, someone who was significant in this person's life, or in your life. Um, it feels very holy, it almost feels like the Virgin Mary. I don't know if that would have an effect or if that resonates for any of you in some ways, but. Hmm. It's interesting because, hold on a minute. So this deck is very curious. There's a camel behind her. This feels, for, for not all of you, but for some of you, very holy, very, very holy. I feel like I just heard sustainment of emotions. You know, camels, they, they drink and then they put their water, you know, in reserve and they just hold on to their emotions, but they, they only access those emotions when needed. I feel like somebody here is going within and really accessing these emotions and really getting a sense of how they feel, you know, whether it could be you, um, but, the, but the energy is calling for both of you to get into that place. What were these betrayals in the past? Betrayals from family or things that had an effect on the family. Maybe one parent left another or there was abuse in a relationship or something. Um, somebody was hurt as a child. That's how I feel. Okay. And all of that is going to begin getting addressed towards the end of August. Okay, so it's a couple of weeks, right? Um, now, your position here, this is your advice, Virgo. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Know who you are. Know your worth. The Queen of Pentacles is high value, okay? She's resourceful. She's fertile, domesticated, but she's solid and practical. She's a leader and she's wise with her investments. And there are things here for you, Virgo, is to embrace the element of who you are. I don't care where Virgo is in your chart. Embrace that, that element, okay? Um, you know, she holds a coin and coin represents value. And there is something here that is really necessary for you to take a look at at this time. Male or female, it doesn't matter. What is your worth? How would you, how would you value yourself? If you had to put yourself on a shelf and, and market yourself and sell yourself, how much are you worth, Virgo? That's what I feel like you're being asked here. Your advice is to ask yourself, how do you, what is your value? Not what other people deem valuable in you, What's your opinion of yourself? What is your self-worth? What is your value? I keep saying this over and over. Let me get um, a clarifying card here. Yeah, Four of Swords. That's a healing energy. Okay, so you you and your person are going through this uh, some kind of recovery process while in separation, which is really great um, because I feel like it's really necessary. All right, um, you know, I always say progress 
It's really important to be consistent and persistent every day with your progress in order to see results. But you also have to be aware that progress often, it's never a straight line, it's never linear. And it's always an element of, at times, three steps forward, two steps back, or two steps forward, three steps back. It doesn't always mean that because there are setbacks that things are over. It just means that it's kind of like when you're working your muscles, you know, the growth happens on your rest days. That's when the actual growth happens. That's why it's always so painful on your rest days when you're not lifting those weights or what have you because it's re it's repairing and building, right? So I feel like right now for you, your advice is to embrace this, if you wanna call it a setback, fine, to embrace this recovery period, this opportunity that you're being given right now to retreat and rest and to renew your heart, renew your soul, and everything along that comes along with it. And I feel like not only is your person being given this opportunity to take a look at their childhood or their innocence and the betrayals that happened to them, but you as well. And not only just to take, some of you may just me be needing to acknowledge this. And for others, I mean, for some, that might be the first time you're actually acknowledging some things. And these, you may need to go within or work with someone spiritual or, um, to get some help to maybe I'm even hearing um, a hypnotist um, or to go in and have to take a look at those painful endings, you and your person, okay? Um, and perhaps start addressing and forgiving because I really feel like in order to move forward, like we can't change the past and the things that happened as a child, you were not at fault. When you're a child, you were given what you were given. And if, when you know better, you do better. But if you're not looking at those things, then you're not gonna be able to do better, okay? And when you are looking at those things, the first step to healing is to forgive. Now I know not everybody buys into that, and that's fine, but the forgiveness is for you. It's not for the other people, because for some of you, things have happened to you in your childhood by certain people and those people are no longer around. So you can't go to them. Um, for some of you, you need to forgive in your heart. Forgiveness is very healing. It cleanses you of holding on to feeling like a victim or holding or staying like that. It, it's, it's like, you know, I kind of feel like, okay, this person did this. Were they intentional or not? Maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. I was a child, what do I know? But this is what happened and I'm gonna let that person go because I truly believe that somewhere this person was hurt as well and hurt people tend to deliver the same to other people, right? So forgiving releases you from the pain. That's the first step. Now your person, they have the sun. And when I look at this card, I see a child on here. Okay, so again, I do feel like both of you are taking a look at your childhood. This person, okay, for some of you, they may be in like an extremely sunny area, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is seeking a joyous outcome. Their intentions to reconcile with you is to have a joyous outcome, okay? This is a card of success and happiness. Okay, the sun and the moon. Wow. This is a cycle. Your person is definitely going through a cycle. Okay, they could be going, if they're female, they're going through this. Um, somebody could be going through like menopause or they're trying to balance out their cycles. There's hormones have effect on their emotions. Your person, male or female, it doesn't matter. They could have... Um, I don't wanna say an imbalance because the sun and the moon take turns, right? So they're equally balanced. Um, the moon knows when it's time to come up and the sun knows when it's time to come down and vice versa. But there is an element here where I feel like your person is sometimes very super, super positive and very happy and joyous. And then other times they could be very moody um, and there's a lot of changes that happen, okay? Um, the light and then the dark, 
a very yin yang energy here okay um let's get another card for your person here okay definitely taking a look at this seven of cups energy which has a lot to do with some um, commitment issues um, or having too many choices or living in a fantasy land um hmm I feel like this person is seeking clarity at this time and uh, trying to restore their senses um, to end some type of illusion that they've been living in. If they've been living in like a fantasy land or kind of being avoidant and uh, staying childlike. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Um, I do feel like they're going to communicate with you and try to offer you or, or try to tell you like what's going on and what's real like this is these are the solid ideas concepts and things that I've been dealing with at this time um, here's that king of wands again if it's not the emperor I'll tell you it's the king of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy okay so some of you could be connecting with um, a fire sign either way the fire sign here um, no matter what sign they are this person is trying to come through as a bold leader um, and with courage. Uh, I feel like this person is trying to overcome their ups and downs and their imbalances. And I feel like that's something that they may tell you that they really want to try to make an effort. Are they going to like, are they showing up here with an actual effort? No, it's more like communication where they tell you um, like, make a good faith effort like this is what I'm going to do this is what's going on with me and I want to communicate to you what's happening okay with me I want to communicate to you why I was so back and forth up and down positive and negative why I was so living in fantasy land or I was deceiving you or I was um giving you false hope or I wasn't understanding how I was feeling um or why I was kind of like one minute I was joyous and the next minute I was uh, I was unhappy. Um, why I could never make up my mind or I was always had too much on my plate. I feel like a lot of this is going to be communication about that. Okay. Um, now hopes and fears. I feel like you both hope that you'll get out of this eight of swords energy and victim a victim like this relationship feels very tremendously victimized. Um, <laughs> either by both of you or by past influences you know like childhood influences so this is an energy of hmm, also something to do with restrictions there's a fear that restrictions are going to keep this relationship from progressing forward now these could be mental restrictions these could be actual restrictions going on in the world um, there's a fear that someone will play the victim card um, or kind of like make it seem as if they're imprisoned and they can't get out of this. But the thing is, the hope is that somebody knows here, you know, he's not encircled, he or she is not encircled by these swords and their feet are, I mean, you can't see their feet, but they're not bound. They just really, like they can walk, you know, there's no, there's nothing under on the legs here. It's just the hands. Um, there's a fear that, that somebody won't be able to like use the fingers to send a message or do something, right? Um, but there's a hope that this person will, or you, or somebody will walk away from these mental restrictions or uh, low self-esteem or things like that. The outcome looks beautiful. So I feel we have the three of wands here. Establish strength. And this is Taurian, and no, wait, no, this is Aries energy. So this kind of gives me, when I look at this card, I really feel like there's an energy of expansion. Oh, sorry, guys. I have my headphones in, so I thought maybe that would stop that sound, but I guess not. Um, hold on. Give me a second here because also is the four. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. 
This is the four, this is the four of wands in this deck. However, there's an archway with a church. Going to the chapel then where? That's what I just heard. Okay, wait, hold on a minute. Something uh, towards the end of this month, there's communication. There may be an invite. I feel like, all right, on the very mundane, there's an invite to a wedding. I just heard that. Either receiving or sending. Okay, five and ones. Challenges. I just heard uh, somebody's waiting for someone to come home. They're, somebody puts something out there and waits to see what comes back despite the challenges. There's challenges. There's these challenges. What are these? What are these about? The obstacles. Uh, Virgo, I feel like somebody here, whomever you're, they're aware that there's obstacles and that there's distance. But I feel for some of you, not all of you, I feel for some of you, this person, despite the challenges and obstacles, they're not giving up. Even if you're putting obstacles and challenges, they're going to stay there and they're going to wait for you to either come home or to come into like have a reunion. I feel like they're, I don't feel like this person's going to pressure, but they definitely want to have a reunion with you or come back to you um, better, differently healed, that kind of energy. Look, there you go. There's the star. Healing energy. Renewal. Next to reconciliation and the four of wands is reunion. Okay. So this is Aquarian energy. Somebody is very hopeful. You both are kind of hopeful. I feel like um, there's there, there may not be a bonfire of emotion at this time, but this, there's still a, a little spark there. And this to me feels like fireworks. <laughs> it's, that spark is gonna blow up into fireworks once this reconciliation happens. This is more like celebration of the birth of something new happening in the dynamic between you and your person. Inner clarity, uh, this is a miracle. Let's get another card. Despite the challenges, I feel like healing these family issues or these past things is going to heal this whole this whole connection. Eight of Pentacles. And that's when the effort starts getting in. Part of that healing energy, that Eight of Pentacles, like I was saying earlier, in order to be successful, you must be persistent and consistent despite the setbacks, despite the challenges. Got to show up every day. And I feel like you and your person, when you begin to feel the hope and the renewal coming back in because of some type of communication, both of you are going to show up for each other every day right? And, and there's an element of understanding because somebody talks. And the reason I say that, and I, I don't know if I said that, is because the high priestess here, look, there's the sword. That's the ace of swords. This is about mental clarity, communicating, overcoming conflicts, new beginnings, after getting this healing and going within self it's about the self courage and willpower and this and somebody initiates this new beginning here okay 
Is it going to be you? Is it going to be them? Um, I feel like you're not, I mean, I feel like your heart wants reconciliation, but you're not, you don't want to initiate anything. I feel because this person has the page and you don't, I feel like it's going to be them reaching out to you. I do. And I think that's okay. I mean, if you don't want to respond, you don't have to, obviously, Virgo. I mean, if you want to just go get your healing and, and, and just do you for however long it takes of course you can you know because i feel like you guys came together um and it, it was meant to happen but i also feel like the separation is happening for where the growth can occur the building up the building up of the muscles you know the spiritual muscles you know i, I always i always say you know, people go to the gym and make sure their physical selves are, are, are good, built up and strong. But very often, do they not go to get that mental strength? You know, if there was a gym, like a mental gym to go to, there is. There's a church, there's therapy, there's counseling, there's self-help books, there's doing the work. That mental strength, you know. I mean, you can get the mental strength through the physical work. You know, you can learn lessons that way. But when it comes to relationships, there's a dynamic there, you know, um, that has to be learned. And, and for some, unlearned because of upbringing. Let's take a look and see what this person's love messages are here for you. Okay. I love you unconditionally. Beautiful. For some of you, this is children. Um, I'm a little weary of giving unconditional love to anyone other than pets and children. <laughs> your children <laughs> so I don't know if this is a red flag I'm not really sure they're not telling me but I definitely feel the unconditional part has to do with acceptance I love you no matter what and I feel like if your person is trying to convey that that they love you and accept you for exactly who you are flaws and all no matter what, I feel like that is their message to you. That's how they feel about you. I want to feel that way again. Okay. My life is not as together as it seems. Yeah. I feel like your person, these family things, they've hit, they have hidden this or they have communicated something about it, but not went into depth about it. Self-care, clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So there is an energy here of self. I said self earlier um, with that Ace of Swords. Um, there is an energy of taking a look at the self, healing the self, clearing the energy from the past. Trust. It's safe to trust in this situation. I feel like it's not trusting in each other, but trusting in this process. Trust the process. That's what I feel like is happening here. Believe that all of this is necessary and that it's okay right now. It's totally okay. I hid who I really am from you. See, I do feel like your person was holding back. Um, they may have had a fear of rejection or a fear of not being accepted or a fear of vulnerable vulnerability. I can't even say that. Vulnerability. They may have had a fear because they were betrayed in the past that it would happen again. Now, this is not your problem. Um, because if you're giving your love and you're doing your very best to assure this person and they still have that great fear, then I feel like an outside source is something that this person needs to address. Um, because you can love people to your blue in the face, but when people don't feel worthy of love, um, they'll drain you <laughs> to the point where you've got nothing left to give. They have got to get their love and acceptance of self and from source right because we all have moments where we feel down about ourselves and it's nice to have someone uh give you that boost and say no you're valuable and you're worthy but if if you're if it's so det detrimental that you or another person does not even feel worthy of love they will shortchange themselves and they will sabotage the relationship when love comes in because they don't believe it Okay, I'm afraid to contact you. They're definitely fear-based right now. And maybe that's because some of you are not wanting communication with this person. And there's a, possibly a fear that they're going to get rejected by you. So 
I feel like right now this is their feelings. Will they contact you going forward? Yes, but that, look, time apart, I'm starting to understand our connection. See, it's a lot deeper. Timing is not quite right. Wait. Okay, that's a very strong message. And release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And also heal. Okay, longing. This person secretly longs and is yearning for you, Virgo. And they do wish things can be different, but it feels like right now they have to kind of wait things out. And you do too, because, you know, you guys are in some kind of transition right now. Yet, I feel like you both want to be together. All right, let's get some charms. What the heck is this? Oh, oh my goodness. It's a doggy dish with a bone. All right, some of you need to just be loving up on your animals or your pets because what did I say? Unconditional love. For some of you, this might be your pet, your dog or your cat, and I'm doing a reading between you and your animal. <laughs> and maybe you guys are in separation or your cat or your dog misses you. I don't know. But I feel like, and this says on it, top dog, what is your self-worth? Look, and there's even a doggy here, a poodle. Oh my goodness. Maybe you put your person in the dog house or you just feel like, you know, they're a dog. Whatever the, the dogs, listen, I have a dog and I, he is the biggest pain in the butt. He follows me everywhere. He's very codependent, but he's very loyal and he loves me very much and I love him too. Um, but dogs, that's how they are. You might have a person that you're connected with who's very codependent. The relationship may have become very codependent, um, and that needs to be healed. Cannot have that relationship with, with that because codependency is manipulation, and codependency is like doormat energy. Um, what is your self-worth? If you are codependent, it's time to start healing that, okay? If your person is, you know, I definitely will say that when you're healing and, and you're getting your healing in, um, the people you're connected with begin healing too, or they're out, right? Like by choice, because when people are healing, you know, like when you're, I, I go back, I always use a fitness analogy. When you come across someone that works out all the time and they're like really built and in shape and all that stuff and you're not, you're either inspired by that person or you don't want to be around them because they're going to call you to yourself. Are you calling someone to themselves? Are you being called to yourself? That's really important at this time. I feel like if you're trying to understand your relationships in life, take a look at your pets. And if you don't have a pet, get one um, because they're very healing. Okay, so some of you may have a poodle or, or you may come home and find that your dog or cat, well, or they put a toy in their dish or something, and that's a message that this that they want to engage with you. Okay, there's also some kissy lips here. Um, kissy lips are, are affection. So I do feel like, um, it, well, for some of like there's great affection with this person. For others, there's an energy of, um, well, maybe you're putting on red lipstick at this time, or you're putting kisses on a mirror, or putting them on a note, or there's a text message with a kissy, kissy lips of some sort. Um, they're telling me to get a couple more here. Okay. All right, I will tell you there's a book. Um, there's definitely maybe a self-help book. You're downloading self-help books or you're learning about relationships. Some of you, I heard someone say that um, when we're born, we don't come with a manual. And my opinion on that is if you're spiritual or religious, um, for those of you, yeah, the Bible's there. So that is there. Um, you don't have to be, I mean, it doesn't hurt to maybe just kind of inquire or read a little bit about some of the um and proverbs or things like that you know um i don't think there's any shame in that i feel like some of you might be doing that at this time or thinking about doing that it could just also be maybe you're writing a book or a novel or you're reading at this time or um you're sifting through you got your book there you're in the it ha maybe some of you have books everywhere and they're all open. And when you get time, you try to read or you're studying. There's also a fork here. Okay. So 
Some of you are at a fork in the road. What do you want to do? I feel like your person it comes to a fork in the road as well, and they they decide to reconcile with you. Okay. Um, or others are looking for a fork at this time. You may be having some salad, or you're eating salad with a fork, or eating something like you've got your fork in hand and you're listening to this, and now you're looking at your fork and you're like, oh my God, that's what's happening. There's also, oh, this is a hacksaw. So I'm just getting an energy of, um, uh, for some of you, a horror movie. I don't know why that just came to me. This looks like a hacksaw. Um, <laughs> And for others, it's just hacking away at, there's an old Bruce Lee uh, quote, and I can't remember, was it something to do with carving away the, the non-essentials, or, um, oh, I can't remember the quote, that's me, when I have to bring it up, I can never remember it. Um, hacking away at things that don't serve you, that are, uh, in order to reveal it's like getting like it's like cutting the sandbags whatever's holding people down it's time to let those things go uh, that's just a message if you if you know that Bruce Lee quote or if you look it up leave it in the comments because I can't remember <laughs> there's something to do about carving away something and I'm a big Bruce Lee fan um, but I can't remember the quote okay um, let me just get an advice card here from the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Okay. Two of Earth. You may be working too hard or you have multiple jobs. You need to bring balance and fun into your life at this time, Virgo. You may be juggling multiple priorities. Okay. Um, find, that, find that balance in your life here. Um, the waters are rough right now. And you got to just kind of bend at the knees while you're standing on that ship and sway and go with the flow at this time. But seek balance. Steady yourself. Get your sea, You're trying to get your sea legs at this time, and that's good. You might be starting your life over um, on some kind of new, maybe you're traveling or relocating or moving. You're starting a new job or something's going on, and you kind of are starting all over. You also have justice. Be impartial and objective. Stand up for what you believe. Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your you will win if your position is one of integrity. Integrity, trust, honor, truth, loyalty. Integrity is very important at this time. Be a person of integrity, despite what other people are doing. If you're in the middle of a breakup with someone and you're angry, don't go all over social media putting this person down. That's not being in a place of integrity. Don't put your business all over. Find a trusted confidant and ask not to talk crap on somebody, but instead ask, how can I better myself? from this situation or what I'm going through. Because if you do put stuff out there that is demeaning to your person, just because you're angry, even though you love them, if you guys get back together now, and then you split up again, and then you get back together and then you split, people around you are gonna think you're out of your mind. They're gonna think you're crazy. And that's why it's really important to embrace this healing and be stable, okay? And your person might see that stuff, you know? so. It's understandable to be angry. Go punch your pillow, right? I just feel like I had that message for somebody. If you're trying to make somebody jealous, you know, don't, don't, don't try not to use tactics that are going to make somebody wake up. Just live your best life and get your healing and vice versa. This person is doing that to you. We do have the five of swords. So some of you might be seeing this at this time while they're, this person's going through their healing. Okay. Um, this and for you, <laughs> the message here is whatever you're trying to do that comes across as abusive or bullying or you're trying to revenge somebody or avenge or get back on someone, that's an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier, Virgo. Avoid people who lack integrity. Again, it says it. Or who have questionable motives. It's weird how the cards play out. The moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry will do you no good. Let go of your fears. Revelations will come that will make everything clear. All right, Virgo. 
cool reading. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I've done like six readings today and I am so beat and I'm going to leave the message here for you. Do whatever you like with it. Um, and I hope that that brought some help and insight to you. And very soon I'm going to be opening up um, live paid personal mini readings here on my channel. I do them also on my other channel. I'm going to start implementing them here. I'm just not sure because I'm in the process of transitioning and relocating. As soon as I'm settled, then I'll begin those, but I will definitely let you guys know. Um, and uh, when I do do it, I'll set up the live stream ahead of time so you'll be able to join in on the chat. And if you don't know how that works, go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, and you can pop in. Those are always every Saturday, unless I have something going on that I just don't set the live stream, but they're every Saturdays at 11 and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and if anyone is interested in helping me out here on this channel with the live stream i will be looking for people who would like to be moderators of this channel so we'll talk we'll talk about it real soon all right virgo love you guys i'll see you very soon take care